Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Whoa, a little framey there to start with. It'll fix itself though. Four win streak, hopefully soon to be five. Azazel is the closest thing that you can get to uh, a one run right off the bat. I consider him kind of the easiest character to continue a streak with. DYV1, 1EAY. Now that doesn't mean that uh, it's, it's inconceivable to lose as him. I have lost as him on uh, numerous occasions, mostly as a result of impatience, and that's something that um, I need to work on. That's that's a Ryan problem. That's not an Isaac problem. I need to well, I need to either get Brimstone or I need to slow down just a little bit. Crack the sky is not Curse of the Maze. What are you doing here? Ugh, weird. Crack the sky is not really the item that I'm going to be looking for at all on this run the fact that it is a four room charge kind of blows me away like wh who are you trying to impress here crack this guy we all know you freaking suck okay you're not gonna trick anybody with two keys i do want to take a little bit of time to explore just to see if there's a second gated key room there is not this floor is over which means there will not be a uh oh come on was that my own fault there i can't remember what direction i went in um which means there will not be a uh, library which means there will not be a book of revelations gonna be fighting the Widow. I mean, it did half of the Widow's HP, but, you know, so does my own individual shot that I can actually aim and can use multiple times per room, so I'm not that excited about it. You get some dog food. Doesn't really matter getting that early, um, HP upgrade. We'll probably trade it away, and even if we don't, it's, I mean, it's not like we have poor Babylon or anything like that to fall back on. So with Azazel, uh, I do think that it's advisable to play slightly differently. I think this is the way Azazel was, tend was intended to operate, but, um, the Fool card makes it so Boss Rush is like a super, super awesome uh, opportunity. Basically, you probably have like an 80% chance... So many Tinted Rocks, come on. You probably have like an 80% chance of being able to get into that Boss Rush room in time, snag a free item, get out using the Fool card. The, the compensation for it is that you can't take any pills or tarot cards down. Like, if you get one, you just gotta... Take it on that floor or let it die. Uh, I think that's like absolutely an adequate thing to compensate for because, careful there, um, you're basically getting a free item, not of your choice, but of your choice out of like a group. So, you know, I think that's worth giving up the ability to be able to carry a card or a pill down. Some people may disagree, but you know, you gotta, you gotta have a flexible play style when you're playing as a Zazel. It'll help you out, man. You never know what kind of great stuff you could get in those rooms. Sometimes terrible stuff, but it always, always something. There's always one item that if you can take it for free, you'll be like, yeah, you know, I'll take it. Lemon Mishap is absolutely better than Crack the Sky. It's not good, but it's better than Crack the Sky. Admittedly, we could buy some bombs, or one bomb probably, and start cracking open Tinted Rocks, but I don't want to spend money on bombs. That's like, I'll spend money on Spirit Hearts, I'll spend money on Keys. If I start spending money on bombs, like something's gone terribly wrong in my life. So ideally, be able to get Monstro to like jump on top of this. He is choosing to ignore it. Oh, that did a decent amount of damage. It's not like it would have been hard to fight Monstro without Lemon Mishap anyway, but let's see what we get here. We get a range upgrade, which helps a little bit as a Zazel. And no deal with the Devil Precedent, apparently, but some pills. One of which is range down, one of which is puberty. Alright. Not my favorite uh, setup there. I think we're just gonna head down to the next floor. The temptation as Azazel is always there to go pretty quickly. We're gonna try to fight that temptation to some extent because by going at like Azazel's natural speed, we're still gonna. Oh, there's a tinted rock there. By going as Azazel, at Azazel's natural speed, we're still gonna finish with more than enough time to get the boss rush, almost with 100% certainty. I can't believe I didn't kill that guy in one hit. Admittedly, uh, by Azazel standards, we're not necessarily balling out of control yet. But uh, by any other character standards, we, we're pretty much balling out of control. I feel like Azazel's starting damage is like the equivalent of picking up Mom's Knife or something like that. You're starting with just an incredibly high-powered item. Shitty range, admittedly. No, no, you, you don't understand. You're supposed to come this way. And this is going to be a, a faster champion, but he's also going to die, so that's not really that big of a deal. And an XL floor, you know, can be great, can be terrible. It's kind of terrible for us because we uh, are in a situation where we kind of didn't get the deal with the Devil Precedent that we should have got. Well, that I feel that we should have gotten early. 
I don't know how this helps us or hurts us, but I think it does come with a small damage upgrade. Um, so if we get a deal with the Angel Room on this floor, that's going to put us even further behind where we want to be. But it's not that big of a deal, all things considered. We could also get a deal with the Devil on this floor and then all would be forgiven. Or we could get no deals, in which case I would be a little sad, but, you know, time goes on, or life goes on. Terrible damage on my, even worse damage on my part. You shouldn't be taking that damage against the Husk. <clears throat> Pentagram pickup is big. Fighting the Hollow means that Lemon Mishap is not going to be useful on either of our bosses, but... It also means we fought two of the easiest bosses we could fight, so I'm pretty pleased with that. And we do get a deal with the Devil. I was going to say, watch it be a Krampus fight. Well, in this case, I think it's a pretty easy pickup for us. We go Contract from below, and then we go the Pact. Classic, uh, you know, 2 HP, take two deals with the Devil that cost three hearts, but still be fine. Uh, also, there's no reason not to take the Pact, because taking the Pact will never kill you. Uh, there, the only reason... Oh, wow, we found a Crawl Space. Or maybe even a black market. Maybe one of the few times that getting hit has actually benefited me. The only time you don't want to take the pact is if somehow you encounter a situation where taking the pact uh, makes it so you can't take another item and still survive. And that happens sometimes, but... Maggie's Bow is a good pickup for us here. We're not trying to maintain any kind of permanent Polaroid invincibility or anything like that yet. We still, I'm, I'm definitely going to explore for the second item room, of course, but we have a ton of time. To just, uh, you know enjoy ourselves here on this floor. We're only at five minutes. That was one of the best crawl spaces we've gotten in recent memory. So often recently we've gotten like, you know, umbilical cord. Yeah, yeah. All right. Way to go, umbilical cord. Fan fancy. Um we don't need umbilical cord, is what I'm trying to get at. Although we I guess we wouldn't mind it that much considering we don't have any uh trinkets right now. Also the more we explore, the more useful contract from below will become to us as a um as someone who, uh, you know, might want to buy something from the shop. I'm not necessarily thrilled with the idea of getting Hive Mind. Could be good, though. Oh, Balls of Steel's pretty good. Explosive Diarrhea is uh, debatably good. I don't think Explosive Diarrhea is bad. As far as I'm concerned, that pill should be good. And, like, Paralysis or Are You a Wizard should be considered bad. Because I think Explosive Diarrhea has some really practical applications if you uh, don't find yourself in a situation where you have any bombs. I'm trying to use Lemon Mishap a little bit more, but let's be honest, it's it's not that important. So we get a Strength card, uh, two Strength cards, and uh, we don't want Full Health, we want the Fool. There it is. 622, so we don't need to be out of this floor until like 13 minutes, so we got tons of time left here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, look around for some Tinted Rocks, get a better Space Bar item, definitely actually get uh, to the second item room, that's something that is worthwhile. The extra keys, you never know. Guppy's tail could show up in the future. You would definitely want to have extra keys for that. You never know, Undefined could show up the way it's showed up on every single run today. And then you'll definitely be in the market. Uh, two range downs, I don't think so. You'll definitely be in the market for uh, using that. I really thought, that's my bad there. I would really thought that the Lemon Mishap would cross the gap. Uh, it chose not to. That's okay. Uh, well, I mean... Probably not going to get too much use out of Lemon Mishap on this room, but I do hate these guys, if that's any consolation. Only two of them left. We'll save it for, like, you know, like spiders, and then we can just stand in the middle, and the spiders will never be able to touch us unless they jump over to it. Oh, Gurglings are another pretty good example, if I could actually get them to rush me down up here, but we'll also kill them in one hit each, so... I mean, that's the problem, right? Lemon Mishap's no good because we're killing enemies too quickly. It's a quality problem to have. But we could use a better spacebar item, maybe a Guppy's head or something like that. Or Krampus's head, for that matter. Uh, I didn't think you were going to explode into bullets. I thought you were red, actually. And we did all that for Rainbow Baby, but we're still so far ahead of the curve when it comes to like the timing of this floor that it really doesn't matter. So, Hive Mind is our item for sale. And the shop. We could conceivably get the money necessary to make that work. Is it worth it? Pshh. I don't know. Maybe. Rainbow Baby's alright. I mean, I like the charm tiers. Um, I think we might be better off saving our money for the next floor, because, I don't, I don't know. Hive Mind, I'm not really feeling it right now. There is the money necessary. I think we might as well try to pop Lemon Mishap against these guys. Close but no cigar. Yeah. 
I mean, we're better off using it on, on enemies that move a little bit more predictably, but I... Oh, we should have used it on that guy. I thought we had to deal with the, the floating heads. My mistake. You know the floating heads. It, you know. This is not my beautiful house. Letting the days go by with the hoodie hoodie hoodie. Not... Oh, that was not smart of me. Not the best David Byrne impression of all time, I think. Hey, we pretty much got what we paid for there. You get what you give. There's a new radical song in motion right there. So no spacebar items, but a good floor nonetheless. And we'll be leaving at about 8 minutes 50 seconds. That's meaningful. Boss rush is completely on the table for us. Hoping that we don't get uh, XL floor on the next floor because we really want to maximize like the delineations for deals with the devil. Alrighty then. What I meant to say is... Hoo-ah! Let's get excited for this XL floor. <laughs> Let's focus on the positive. Anyway, uh, our damage is good enough that I am not scared. I mean, I'm not scared of any floor. We could win the game conceivably without getting any damage upgrades. But I would like for that to not be the case. Like, again, Lemon Mishap kind of becomes just kind of like a defensive measure for us. Magic Fingers is not very good for us in our current situation. Now, as a Zazel, we do have a lot of damage, and that damage actually does translate well to Magic Fingers. However, we just, we don't need it. I, I don't know if we're better off with Lemon Mishap. I don't know if that's the way I'd put it, but, like, I don't think we're better off with Magic Fingers, if that makes sense. I would like to start cracking open these skulls, but I don't want to get mired into, like, uh, you know, oh, what tarot card should I take? What tarot card should I take? I don't want to get into that stuff yet. Maybe we'll do that once we, um... Once we teleport out of our boss rush room, which will be happening, you know, possibly within, like, the next couple of minutes here. Because it's completely conceivable that we, um, find our boss room right away here. Money is not going to be an issue. That was a little bit of a close call. Cancer Trinket. Our rate of fire is already really good, but it never hurts to have a Cancer Trinket and raise it. Unless you've got, like, Soy Milk Ipecac or something like that. But then you're probably fudged regardless, so it doesn't really matter. You kidding me? Oh, wow, you... Went in a completely different path. Our shop. PhD and piggy bank? Absolutely, why not? And you know what? I know we have a spirit art here. I'm just going to donate a little bit extra money here. Make sure we got our bank uh, popped up here. When I blew up my donation machine by accident, I saw someone post a comment that said, you know, you constantly use the donation machine as a bank, and then once you accidentally break it, it, auto it like doing that automatically becomes a scum tactic. Classic NL logic. Hey, you're not wrong, right? You know, I'm I'm a I'm a scumbag when it comes to my logic in the game, and I, I hold the game to different standards than I hold myself to. I'll admit it. Well, we got a pill from PhD. It was puberty. People were probably pulling their hair out over that one. There you go. As you can see, I left behind an incredibly uh, lucrative pill that would have really helped us out over the course of the game. I get that that's not the point. I get it. It's the principle of the thing. One of these guys always jumps before we have a chance to get over there. Keys are good. Uh, this is looking to be a bad end, unfortunately. Callus uh, is one of my favorite trinkets in the game, except for right now. Because since we can fly, we basically get no uh, value out of it. Two extra bombs. I mean, it can, can come in handy. What's our time at now? 11 minutes? There is zero chance we don't make it to our boss rush room in time. Even if we fought like a room with five super envies in it, we'd be, we'd be totally okay. Time-wise. The, the danger on this run right now, and it's not an absurd danger, but, it, I mean, as you can see, it's sort of coming true here, is um, my seeming inability to avoid taking damage as a Zazel. We've gotten lucky that we've got stuff like uh, Balls of Steel pill in our rotation. Oh, goody, we got a quarter. Money equals power would be great. What about money equals range? I would, I would take that item right now. Explosive, but, you know, let's, let's mix it up a little bit here. Let's fuck with the formula. I don't know. Maybe that helped out. Just stop taking so much dumb damage. Oh, we'll get out of there. I'll tell you what, you're on your own. Ah, there's our boss room. I really thought I'd get one of them on there. Or, how am I? Yeah, <laughs> I was. It, that was supposed to be a sentence, but then I just it came out as Hama. No, what I was trying to say is how many uh, are there? But I guess there's only two. Whipworm. Uh, shot speed upgrade doesn't really affect me at all right now. All right, let's fight our bosses. Adversary, not too much of a problem. I think with Adversary, the, the secret is you want to stay really close so you can rotate around him 
like degree wise very very quickly like you can get you can do a 180 degree kind of pivot around him and dodge his uh, brimstone shot super easily as a result I took dumb damage I shouldn't have taken there we got a range upgrade didn't we already get the heals like you're gonna give me two of the same range upgrade that's a little overkill game I'm trying to goad mom's foot into dropping down here Well, that probably saved me from a hit, so thank you, Lemon Mishap. I guess there's like a rule, if you pop Lemon Mishap, uh, Mom's foot just doesn't exist anymore. So, you know, prepare yourself for that one. We did get a deal with the Devil. Take the Spirit Hearts first. Blue Mom drops Spirit Hearts. I like that a lot. We'll check out our deal with the Devil. Don't teleport me. Wow. Those are both... <laughs> come on. <laughs> Those are both explosive diarrhea. Woohoo! Still, we're a Zazel, can't complain too hard. Samson's Chains, Dark Magnet, Strange Attractor, whatever it's called. Uh, certainly, Satanic Bible is what we gotta consider the best upgrade here. And we'll teleport out. Uh, it's not my favorite gets, but, you know, it, it does make me feel, I'll, I'll definitely take those. It does make me feel a little bit better about the fact that I've taken so much dumb damage, because now we can hopefully not do that in the future. The world card. I'll pop it so I can see secret rooms and curse rooms. And we got a couple of death cards here. Probably not going to use it right there. Uh, yeah, why not pop this open? Broken magnet effing sucks. Death card I don't think would work against wall masters right away anyway. And we get three of them. Yeah. Then these guys who I almost always forget about them even as I'm describing them. It's okay. I didn't mean to play that, but we lucked out. We got two cents out of it. I probably will not even go back for it. That's how lazy I'm going to be about it right, right now. Um, but on the bright side, good cards, good consumables, ability to go to our secret room. I'm mostly excited by the prospect of going to our mini boss right now, though. I had a feeling that would probably work out the way it did. Okay. Should not be taking damage against dips at this point in my life. Not at this point in the run, at this point in my life. Spiders. I was like, at first there was nothing there. At first I was afraid. I was petrified. I don't know why. That was, um, I will survive in the style of Elvis Presley. Anyway, Lemon Party's good. How did I play that for free? Did you see that? That's a little weird. I didn't take any damage when I played that. Oh yeah, permanent Polaroid invincibility. I forgot. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Fuck it, I'll sacrifice, like, half a black heart to get more plays out of you. That's a balls of steel pill right there anyway. This is the lazy man's way of doing this, but hey, we got Gimpy out of it, as well as balls of steel. And a lemon party pill, a remnant of what once was with our uh, space bar item setup. This is a pretty good setup for us here now. I, uh, I would be surprised if we can't make something great happen. This should be a win. I mean, it should be a win regardless, you know, because we're Azazel, but... This should, like, really be a win now. Balls of Steel? Just, like, one more Balls of Steel pill? Two Hematomesis pills. Well, that's alright. I'm gonna be super lazy and waste an extra bomb to come down this way, and I'm feeling very good about this. Really, really hoping for a deal with the Devil on the next floor, but uh, apart from that, great situation. Little bit of a slower Azazel run, but maybe that's a nice change of pace. Uh, and maybe I'll take less damage in the process. Yeah, we're at 16 minutes already. That's, like... Most of Zazel runs are already done by now. And no risk of becoming Guppy. That's got to be refreshing. A win without Guppy? Are you sure you're playing the Binding of Isaac Rebirth? I'm, I, I'm, I'm sure. Thank you, Flies. The keys are coming in handy. Theoretically, I guess, if we could just get some golden chests. I'm, I'm really hoping that we have a chance to get Tammy's head. That's the space bar item of my dreams right now. Tammy's head's too good. Basically, with Tammy's head and Brimstone... Well, any kind of kind of brimstone, but Azazel's brimstone works. You just walk into uh, enemies and they die. As long as you hit the space bar before you do so. If you you know, rest assured, if you just walk into them, you're probably gonna have some trouble. But if you walk into them while pressing the space bar, the all important second step, you should be fine. So that's a charge there. Uh, burnt penny. I don't think we're gonna really need bombs too much on this run. So we'll just take this with us, even though we're already at uh, full HP. Yeah, why not? You know, we've gotten a lot of keys. It's always nice to be at full HP. I mean, for a variety of reasons. But it means that on a Curse of the Blind floor, 
it really doesn't matter what we take. Because even if it sucks, we'll survive. That was why I was trying to get close to Loki. I thought maybe Chubb would spawn first. But uh, you'd think after doing this room enough times, I'd just know. But that's okay. Lemon Party Pill. Might as well use it when it's guaranteed to be at least useful, right? You don't want to take it into the boss fight and then find out you're fighting Mama Gertie who can fly. Uh, two of those could be amazing. Okay. I will uh, just pop this. Hopefully it's two Joker cards. Why not? Right? Two two of diamonds. Well, uh, that does take us to 99 cents. So now we don't need to worry about grinding any extra uh, money. Because if money equals power shows up, we're already going to be at the cap for damage. So that's alright. Money equals power probably won't show up. But if it does, it does. If it does, I'd be very happy. And it's funny, you know, this is a, it's a strong Azazel run. But relative to a lot of other Azazel runs, it's actually just... I mean, it's it's not uh, like blowing the doors off or anything like that. You know, it's just a just a nice Azazel run. This is like Azazel's normal damage, roughly. We did a pentagram in the mark, big deal. I know that's another balls of steel pill, by the way, but you know we're not even using the balls of steel pill that we currently have. I don't think there's any reason to completely pharmaceutically bankrupt this floor. That is uh, hematomesis. I think we've already... No, we haven't had small rocks, so blowing up tinted rocks whenever possible. I mean, it doesn't just mean they're going to pay out with spirit hearts anyway. We, as we just saw, we got a golden chest there. And there's another one right here, but uh, I would like small rock. Yeah, there it is right there. I assume, you know, that could have been proptosis or something like that. Curse of the Blind, what could it be? We can pretty much tap shoot here as well, which is, is nice. I haven't really been taking advantage of uh, the Cancer Trinket. There's our boss fight. Looks like it's probably Mr. Fred, but if we get super lucky, it could be double fallen. Unlikely, but it could happen. Oh, double gate. Wow. Uh, I don't like this. Double gate is actually like maybe one of the hardest boss fights we can find ourselves facing right now. We should still be fine. I mean, we're not we're not going to fall below the HP cap because of the balls of steel pill anyway, but uh, yeah, this is uh, certainly the, the trickiest of all the double rooms I think we could be facing right now. Might as well use this while it's still good, right? And... you're dead. We do get a deal with the devil. I'll take this. Speedball, sure. It's something. And the Krampus pickup, you know, obviously we're hoping for a lump of coal here. He finally showed up. I don't love paying the Krampus tax at the end of the game, but... Lump of coal, alright, it's okay. Again, my, my assessment of this run is... Uh, CNN is predicting that I'm going to carry this run. I'm excited about that. Hoping that that continues to be the case, just raising my chair a little bit here. Not raising my chair like a like a pruny grape. Can grapes just like freaking decide? That's what I'm. I'm just like, you know. Sometimes I want a grape. Sometimes I want a raisin. I've never wanted a prune, but some people do. Just like figure it out, man. Pick a fruit and and stick with it. I used to, I don't know about you guys, but when my uh, mom used to pack my lunches when I would go to school, when I was 30, uh, my my mom would always pack me with like a box of raisins. Is that really just because of the California raisins thing in the 80s that that people started eating raisins like crazy? It's basically just like a box of, of sugared, dried grapes, like a cardboard box. I always get all mushy and like 80% of the grapes would stick together and you put like two in your mouth at the same time and you'd just be like overtaken by the... The weird mouthfeel of the syrup that they're packed in. It, what a weird snack. But then again, we also, like, ate a bunch of Dunkaroos and, like... I hope, like, I'm not saying my parents did a bad job of raising me nutritionally speaking. We also ate a lot of, you know, you know, grilled meats and salads and stuff like that. We weren't just eating chicken fingers or stuff like that every night. I wasn't having Dunkaroos for breakfast or anything like that. But the school lunch was always, like, fruit snacks. It's just, like, like, corn syrup cut in the shape of a dinosaur. That's pretty wild, man. And I still like fruit snacks to this day as a result of that childhood imprinting, I think. Do you, in America or anywhere else in the world, do you guys have so delicious? It's a pun, which is the worst thing to name your food. But anyway, they were like candies shaped like soda bottles that tasted like soda. Like some of them tasted like root beer. Some of them tasted like, you know, orange soda. Shit was the bomb. But I don't know. Maybe I'll be like the worst parent in the world if I became a parent because I would be like... I wouldn't be holding my... I'd be holding my kid to, like, higher standards than I hold myself to, you know? 
Like I, I would be eating like a cheeseburger and fries with like a, a pint of beer for lunch, and but I'd send my kid to school with like a, you know, like two bananas and a like a bowl of oatmeal, some lentil soup or something. I don't know. Hey, uh, can I have your Lunchables, Timmy? I'll trade you my Southeast Asian doll. Fuck you, Timmy. We don't like your parents. They cook weird food. It's not weird food. Doll is fucking delicious, Jimmy. Don't bullshit me like that. Just because your parents have never expanded their culinary horizons doesn't mean you should take it out on, on Lucifer Poindexter the Third. Yeah, I've got names picked out for my kids. You got a problem? It's first if it's a if it's a boy, it'll be Lucifer Point Dexter the Third, and if it's a girl, it'll be Batman Bin Superman. I've had that in mind ever since I was a young boy, and I uh, I don't get uh, detached from my ideas very quickly, much to the chagrin of uh, everyone everywhere. Now we'll throw a bomb down here. That was. Not very smart for me to take damage in that regarding way. That is also not the way that you would construct a sentence, but that's okay. I can't believe we're almost done with this run. It's been kind of just like a really, really quick one. The Isaac fight is where like things start to get equalized as a Zazel. Like it becomes a little trickier as you can see. Okay. So, what do you do? You duck in and out. You treat it like a prize fight in boxing. Okay, this is not good. This is why you either got to get Brimstone or you got to get rid of your HP so that you get permanent Polaroid invincibility. Don't lose this Azazel run. It's all been fun and games until now. Now, it's extremely important that we actually uh, keep our HP alive because we're going down to the chest and there's no guarantees that the chest is going to work out for us. So, look, I took three or four hits there. That's all right. Oh, that's not good. Don't take that one. Took three or four or five hits there. Five or six hits here. It's starting to become less than all right. However, we still got this one in us. I have a strong tendency to throw as a Zazel. I'm not proud of it, but we really don't need too much on the next floor to really make it happen. Thank God you were dead, because I can't be trusted. All right, down to the next floor then. Satanic Bible, don't fail me now. High damage. High damage. <laughs> High damage. Curse of the Maze, whatever. Uh, Ludo. Ludo Brimstone is amazing. Yeah, we don't get an opportunity to use this all that often, so I'm happy to have it. Uh, is our shot speed good enough to, to do something with this? Because we got we got the Ring of Death as a Zazel right now, which is great. You know, hit multiple enemies at the same time. I always thought one of the synergies that would be really cool with this would be um, Shielded Tears, so that you could like trap an enemy and their bullets would never escape. And neither would their screams, Clarice. But either way, this is, uh, it's, it's really nice to just be able to consistently do damage without having to worry about, like, you know, rate of fire or anything like that. It's, it's a little tricky. I don't know if I've ever had it before, to be honest with you. But, uh, it also gives us exactly what we lacked as a Zazel, which was range. Whoa, with Lump of Coal? Look, as we get closer to it, the circle gets smaller. That's really interesting. What a weird synergy there. Um, anyway. Ludo... Uh, Lump of Coal has the weirdest synergies, man. Anyway, the fact that we have uh, basically unlimited range now, even though we haven't uh, impacted our damage very much at all, this creates a fantastic situation for me that I think is pretty likely to give me the win here. So did we get carried on the chest? Probably. I think I'm extremely lucky to be in this position. Also, the ability to hit multiple enemies even if they're not standing in a straight line can't be overstated. The bomb's probably not that meaningful, but hey. We're doing just fine here. And the blue baby fight in particular should be a lot easier now. I, you you know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking how the heck does this uh, telepathy for dummies thing look with Ludovico technique? Brimstone, or Azazel Brimstone, whatever you want to call it. And the answer is I don't freaking know, but I'm excited to find out maybe. Maybe I'll give it a try on one room, but I'm kind of skeptical of doing so because, you know, it, it would be nice for us uh, if possible to just get as many satanic bible charges as we can. Ah, this is the annoying room, of course. Yeah, there we go. Being able to do persistent damage is going to be helpful, though. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, dodge right into it. That's okay. This is the shit room. On the shit room, you eat shit. That's just, that's why it's named that. 
You know, if I hit both of them at the same time, that's a huge get. This should do it. Okay, I only got hit twice. That's not so bad. Now, just no more double adversary rooms. I know this one can't be double adversary. What, like, quintuple adversary? Oh, this is ideal. Yeah, these enemies. You do not stand much of a chance. I'm not sure how you got out of the Circle of Doom to begin with, but... I appreciate it. Oh, we can get, like, the biggest ring of all time here. That might not even be a good thing, but we can do it. You won't be able to see it, but we can do it. I like that. Oh, Curse of the Maze. We're safe. I love that. A little bit of fire texture still going on there. Not sure what's up with that. Please get killed. Thank you. Really need, like, some extra spirit arts. It would be nice. We may not need them, but it would be nice. Double Mega Fatty. Not uh, that big of a deal in the whole scheme of things. We can fly, so I shouldn't be worried about that creep. Yeah, just be cool. 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 You're dead. All right. Easy. You're going to teleport. That's fine. I will stand on the other side of the map then. And we're about to get a Satanic Bible Charge. This should be good enough. This HP is very, very solid. I don't know who to kill first here. I actually think Pestilence is a little bit more annoying because of these... Freaking poison bombs that fire so goddamn quickly. It's ridiculous. I think we should be safe here. Yeah, it was a little close for comfort, but it's okay. Keep them in the ring, baby. The slowing uh, effect from... Uh, I think the Cancer Trinket's still better than the poison here, but... Um, the uh, the slowing from, like, Juicy Sack... Or I guess it's uh, Ball of Tar here, but it's still so important. No matter what it is. I appreciate it a great deal, you smart, you loyal. You grateful. Still holding out hope for like some spirit hearts, you know, it would only take like one truly shitty room to really uh, put me behind the eight ball here. If we got hit three times on a room, that certainly makes our life a little bit harder. But that Ludo pickup is just an extraordinary get for us. Thank you for the slow. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Tighten the ring! Ah, ha, ha. That's alright, one hit's not so bad. Sack of pennies, you're doing the Lord's work here. Thank you for the completely meaningless amount of HP. Or amount of uh, money. And you just are not in for a good time, or a long time, Haunt. I think it's best for us to just fight the boss and not risk it. I think we should be fine. All we need to do is focus on dodging. And like, as long as the ring is still large enough, it'll fit in there. Very bad dodging on my part. We can do this as long as we want as well. I'm not sure if this does any more damage or if it just expands the circumference of the ring, but... Either way, it's looking like this is going to be a win. And that means we will be back as Lazarus in the next episode. Something that scares me a little bit. But either way, you know, recovery from that bad Judas run. Turning into a, uh, a five win streak here. That's encouraging. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.